Our first question I wanted to ask you was, mm -hmm. is, is, and before we get into the general questions that we ask, is can you explain maybe what the, the myth or the iconic status is of Churchill Downs and yeah. why is it, you know, in the last three or four years we've seen record crowds. I know mm -hmm. you've renovated it, you know, in generalities. Mm -hmm. What is it about that event? And now with all of the media and all the different ways we can spend our time. Yeah. The thing about the Kentucky Derby and Churchill Downs, I think most, is that it's a bit of everything. It's, okay. it's a great sports event. That's one thing. Great social event. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think you put it all together, it's just a great piece of Americana. I mean, we've got history sure. like baseball. We mm -hmm. go back to 1875. We've run the race every year since 1875 without interruption right. uh, on that location, that spot of uh, real estate here in this community. And uh, through those years, the track's had its ups and downs. And in, in the very early years, uh, the, the, the track really struggled. The first 20, 25 years or so, never turned a profit. And then mm -hmm. uh, a local legend, and I, I think ought to, ought to be certainly a regional legend, if not a national legend, Matt Wynn came aboard and turned mm -hmm. the racetrack around and built the Derby and, the, and, the, uh, and, and Churchill Downs itself into, into to, to what it has become today. And I, I think there are a lot, of, uh, a lot of things to look at. Again, one, the basic thing is that sports event. Right. Those two, those two minutes on that first Saturday in May, uh, you only get one shot at it, three-year-old thoroughbreds, and there are about 35,000 in each crop. Only one's going to win it, mm -hmm. and you get no do-overs. You just get that one opportunity to just get there. And when mm -hmm. you get there, it's down to 20, and uh, everything's got to go right in those two minutes. So, so winning it is a very special thing, and, and, and the process of doing that mm -hmm. takes years and years of work and years and years of dreaming. Some people spend lifetimes and, and never even get close to it, really deserving people. Uh, so it's a, it's, a, it's a great sports event. The, the, the sport itself has a lot of romance to it. We get some mm -hmm. stories that, uh, that are, uh, that would, you know, frankly, a story like Funny Side a few years ago when a, a bunch of high school buddies got together and decided to get in the horse business. They all put in about $5,000. That's and, right, that's right. And they end up beating a Saudi prince on Derby Day. I mean, those things yeah. would uh, be looked at as a, you know, a bit too much of a cliche if you mm -hmm. turned in a script like that. So, so there's, a, there's a, kind of a, an inner romance to the sport. There's also, I think, a link in the, our DNA between, between man and horse that makes it special. Interesting. But also okay. the, social, the social aspect of it. I, I think that's such a huge part of it. And, and again, that was part of Matt Wynn's vision at Churchill Downs. And, and uh, the, the fashion became such a big part. The derby hats, the, right. the, the, oh, yes. the celebrities, the stars of stage and cre screen, government leaders, the Queen of England coming this year. Probably, right, right. That's might, might, been, might have been the ultimate Matt Wynn dream, I think. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah. I think all those things come together. And as, as great as the individual parts are, mm -hmm. I think the sum is even greater than those individual parts. And, it, and it, it again comes down to just a great bit of Americana. It's a rite of spring and it's something mm -hmm. that only people are here look forward to every year. Right. But people around the world look forward to every year. Oh, so. yeah.